When you're bulking, you need to increase your water intake. Water is vital to keep your body hydrated and functioning optimally. If you're dehydrated, you're going to be weak in the gym, there's going to be a greater chance for injury, and you're not going to progress. So make sure you drink extra water when you're bulking. Doing so will ensure you stay hydrated, you're strong in the gym, and you're making progress. Hey, what's up? It's Friday, week six. You have one more workout left, and that's your lower body workout. That's the final workout of the deload week, and then next week we start back over lifting heavy. So I want you, what I want you to do, head to the gym, do your five to 10 minutes of warm-up cardio, and then it's time for weights. I'll see you over there. We made it to the gym, it's Friday, and this is your final workout of the deload week. As you know, last week we lifted heavy, doing six sets of three reps. Now this week has been a deload week, where it's all about recovery time. We've only been doing one set of 15 to 20 reps per exercise. We're going to continue that trend with today's lower body workout. Now before we begin, perform your 5 to 10 minutes of warm-up cardio. Once you're done, we'll start with the weight training program. The first exercise for today is the deadlift. Perform your two warm-up sets of 10 to 15 reps. Once your warm-ups are complete, add weight to the bar for your one heavy set of 15 to 20 reps to failure. The main thing you want to focus on when doing the deadlift is not arching your back. Arching your back is dangerous and can lead to injury. Once you've completed your one set of 15 to 20 reps, remove the weights and place them back on the weight rack and move on to your next exercise. The second exercise of today is the hack squat. Perform two warm-up sets of 10 to 15 reps. After you complete your warm-up sets, Add weight to the machine and perform your one set of 15 to 20 reps. You should position your feet just a little wider than shoulder width apart and point your toes out, just as you do on the free weight squat. This is the ideal position for the hack squat. Once you finish your one set of 15 to 20 reps, remove all the weights and then move on to your next exercise. The third exercise in today's workout is the lying leg curl for the hamstrings. Perform your two warm up sets of 10 to 15 reps. Once you're done warming up, increase the weight and start on your one working set of 15 to 20 reps to failure. The key to the lying leg curl is keeping your body stationary except for flexing at the knee joint. Doing this places all the tension on the hamstring. Once you finish your one set of 15 to 20 reps, move on to your next exercise. The next exercise in today's workout is the seated calf raise. Perform two warm up sets of 10 to 15 reps. After you've warmed up, increase the weight and move on to your one working set of 15 to 20 reps. Focus on using a full range of motion and not balancing to complete your reps. Balancing instead of using a full range of motion decreases the effectiveness of this exercise and cheats your results. Once you've completed your set of 15 to 20 reps of failure, remove the weights and move on to your next exercise. The next exercise for today's workout is a standing calf raise. Begin with two warm up sets of 10 to 15 reps. Remember, don't take your warm up sets to failure. After you've warmed up, increase the weight and do one set of 15 to 20 reps to failure. Be sure to adjust the machine so you start with your calves in the fully stretched position. After you've completed your set of 15 to 20 reps, log your performance and then move on to your next exercise. Next up are your core exercises, starting with the lying leg raise. Since you're doing 15 to 20 reps, you may not need to add weight to this exercise. If you do, then first perform a warm-up set of 10 reps with just your body weight. Next. Hold the dumbbell between your feet and perform your working set of 15 to 20 reps. Be sure to control your upper body as you raise and lower it. Don't use momentum and just swing your legs up. Control your body throughout the movement. Once you're done with your lying leg raises, return the dumbbell to the dumbbell rack and move on to your next exercise. The final exercise for today's workout is the side bend. The side bend is performed on the back extension bench. If you can easily perform 15 to 20 reps with your body weight, then first do one warm up set of 10 reps just using your body weight and then hold the dumbbell for your working set. After you're warmed up, begin your working set of 15 to 20 reps to failure. As you lower your upper body, breathe in. As you raise your upper body, crunch your obliques and breathe out. Once you're finished with your 15 to 20 reps, return the dumbbell to the dumbbell rack and record your performance in your workout journal. You just completed the final workout of the deload week. Be sure that you recorded all of your weights and reps completed in your workout journal. I know you must have been very sore at the start of the week. The deload week was placed after week 5 for this specific reason. You should be feeling more rested and recovered now than you were at the beginning of the week. No matter what though, you still need to focus on recovering this weekend. Monday starts the second half of the program, so you're going to need to come rested and ready to work. Now you still need to complete your post-workout stretching for this workout. Be sure to stretch your hamstrings, your quads, and your calves. Once you're done stretching, head back over to my office and we'll recap everything we've done. 
good workout today, solid way to close off the week. It's the end of your deload week, so you should be feeling pretty good. You should really be starting to know some visual differences in the mirror. Now what I want you to do is go home and take your updated progress pictures. After you do that, compare them to your starting pictures as well as your three week pictures. And you should see, be able to see a difference in your physique. Now depending on where you started this program at, your results may be more pronounced than others. If you are seeing just a little bit of results and not a lot, don't be discouraged because we're only halfway through the program. We still have another six weeks for you to get results. Next week, we start lifting heavier again, so I really want you to rest up this weekend, get all of your meals in, do your 30 minutes of cardio tomorrow, and come prepared to start adding some weight to the bar again. So I'll see you next week.